If you ever opened up an electronic device, you have seen not one but more than one IC, which is in my case a microcontroller IC from a DVD player, or you can say a PWM IC on a power supply. Even if we say like this that electronics is incomplete without an IC, then it is correct, because IC is like the backbone in electronic circuits. So in this episode, we are going to study about ICs. We will discuss about what is an IC, how it works and where to use them. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The full form of IC is most of you probably know is integrated circuit. So to make one of this IC, you will need thousands of electronic components like resistor, capacitor, diode and transistors. They are directly formed onto a sheet of silicon, so they get a shape of an IC. Now if we talk about their types, they are divided into two groups. The first one is a square IC, like this at Mega328 on Arduino Nano. You can see that it has pins on all the four sides which is in some ICs contain 80 pins and in some ICs it contains 100 pins even these pins reach more than 500. The second type of IC is a square IC like this grandfather of all ICs and a triple five timer. You see it has pins on only two sides that's why it is called rectangular IC. So have a look at this. If I would ask you how many electronic components like resistor capacitor, diode, and transistors are there in this IC, then it would be impossible for you to guess the amount. So if we take a look at the internal schematic of any 555 timer, you can see there are a total of 23 transistors, 15 resistors, and a couple of diodes. You see how they managed to fix all these 23 transistors and 15 resistors in this small IC. Although if you are thinking you can break this IC, and see all those components, they are formed onto a sheet of silicon in such a way that we cannot see with our naked eye. Now the question is, what is the fun of making these ICs if we can make one by using schematic diagram? So if I would follow the schematic diagram and make the whole circuit by using same amount of resistors and transistors, then it would take the entire breadboard to make the whole circuit. That's why due to advancement in technology, they packed this rather big circuit in a very small IC, so we can use this circuit in a very less space. At last, let me clear one thing from my mind. In these ICs, there exist components like transistors, resistors, capacitors, diodes, FETs, and MOSFETs etc. But they does not contain coils and transformers. Take a look at any IC, you can see resistor capacitors, but you cannot see coil and transformers. The reason for that is due to their large size. Making them small in size is very expensive as compared to the other components like resistor capacitors. So designers avoid to use them in ICs. That's why we have to use those components externally in our circuits. So finally friends, let's end this topic here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we can further discuss about all these components in detail. Apparently this video is not that special but it is useful for all those friends who are new into electronics. Once again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, stay safe and I'll see you next time.